Two years after the release of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Steven Spielberg delivered the sequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark, The Temple of Doom. So what do I think about it? Well, let's find out. Hello everyone. Before we get in, I'd just like to remind you that this is just my opinion and my opinion, and the right opinion is just my opinion. Without further ado, let's get started. Start off with some of the things I like. And the first thing that comes to mind is how aesthetically wise this movie looks very different from its predecessor. And I also found the choice of making this a prequel to Raiders also an interesting choice because it shows how what could happen in this movie could deepen what would happen in Raiders while not just relying on it. If they would just focus this movie on how Indiana Jones got his whip hat, or if he would focus different but also answer the questions and pass the baton to Raiders at the same time. Which I find this movie kind of did well because we kind of weren't 100% focused on how the events leading up here would lead into Raiders, but it's also kind of a flaw because I find that the arc that Indy went through didn't exactly match with the start of Raiders. In Raiders, he still wants money. He still wants money. Here, his arc is supposed to be about him fighting for the greater good instead of money. But at the start of Raiders, he wants money. What? And just letting a kid drive a car? I don't feel like here we got enough reasonings for that. So you need to pass the baton as well as create your own cohesive story. But still, the action set pieces here were beautiful. Some of them were really memorable, including a rope fight, as well as a minecart fight that both hold up very well. Definitely some of the shots and blue screen effects don't hold up that well. Some of them look like they're on a different color scheme than their background. So let's talk about the fact that this movie is definitely more dark and gritty and violent. Well, I'm kind of half and half with that. The grit makes everything feel more real. But the problem with this is they play it more for a reaction from us that makes us go, Ew! Oh, that person just died instead of have really an emotional impact. If you want me to explain a bit more on what I mean, in that scene where that guy's being sacrificed, it's... <laughs> played as more of a horrific and gross scene rather than a scene that delivers on emotional standards. That makes this movie feel more nasty and mean. So because of that, it could feel like this movie has less emotional impact. As well as some of the new characters I find weren't exactly incorporated into the story the most organically. Like especially Kate Catcher's character. I find was kind of just in the plot because the plot needed it to. She was like a dancer and then Indy for some reason wants to take her on the plane. What? And I also find that the new characters here weren't explored the most and weren't given enough depth or emotion or backstory. As well as Kate Capsule's character and Short Round were kind of... Ah! I burnt my fingers and I cracked a nail! Yeah, I didn't exactly enjoy them the most. The next thing is that this movie I find relies a bit more on spectacle value rather than character value because as I just said earlier with that these emotional scenes are supposed to be in horrific ways with more technical value and make you go ooh rather than emotional. As well as I find that the romance between Kate Catra's character and Indiana Jones was a bit rushed and I didn't find it had the most depth and I find that this movie should have explored it a bit more and why it happened. I just felt like it was kind of just there and not exactly given the most reasoning. Overall, I was a bit disappointed with Temple of Doom and I'll give Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom a C+. Quick soundtrack review. I absolutely love the soundtrack. We actually it delivered on light motifs that could be turned in different variations to signify what was happening, and that was done really well. Well, some grand themes that just played, and I absolutely love the soundtrack. I'm gonna give the soundtrack a 10 out of 10.